Fire can pull me up blazing Me I be the one that bless me Them baga come can't taste me Them baga come can't taste me Bad man, me a no say me a better than them Them a call me yard me a better Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're already subscribed. It's your girl Roxy and I'm here with another short hair transformation. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be transforming my pixie into a ponytail. So right now I'm just starting off by sectioning out my hair and parting out my ponytail. To slick my ponytail, I'll be using the MC7 Collection Edge Tamer. And this is a very strong edge tamer that can be used on natural hair if you need to lay your edges and you're looking for an edge tamer that has a really good hold. If you want to try this product, I will leave their Instagram in my description box below and it's MC7 Collection. I'm just starting off by applying the edge tamer with my fingers. Usually I put my hair in a ponytail before I apply the product, but I forgot. So um, I just have to continue with what I'm doing. Um, I am going to just be slicking my ponytail now using a very firm brush and this is just going to work the edge tamer throughout my hair. To mold my sides, I'm going to be using Nairobi's Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. And I'm just placing the product all throughout on the sides and the back of my hair using my hands. And then I'm going to go in with my fine tooth rat tail comb to work the product through my hair and just detail the sides a little bit more. To tie down my mold, I'm going to be using the Rapid Junior Styling Strips. Perfect. In total, I use about four styling strips to, to tie down my mold. The hair that I'm going to be using for my ponytail is a 14 inch natural black straight hair. 
To apply my ponytail, I'm going to be using bobby pins. So I'm starting off by taking a section of the weft and I'm going to use that to anchor um, the hair onto my little bun here. <laughs> so I'm just taking a strand of hair and I'm wrapping it around and to hold that in place I'm going to use the first bobby pin. So once that's in, I'm going to take start by taking the weft and just wrap it all the way around my bun. And once I've wrapped it around a few times, I'm just going to add another bobby pin. And then once I've wrapped it around an another few times, I add another bobby pin. Keep in mind to make your ponytail, you do not need to use bobby pins. Um, there are other methods to, um, to attaching your ponytail. You can use needle and thread or you can even use glue. But today I decided to use bobby pins because it was a little bit faster. So to finish it off, I'm going to be using my last bobby pin and I'm connecting it to the end of the weft and into my bun. So now I'm taking a piece of hair from the ponytail and I'm going to use that to wrap around the base of my ponytail. And this is just going to hide the tracks and cover the tracks and it's also going to cover any bobby pins that may be sticking out. So now with some mega hold spritz, I'm going to spray my ponytail and this is just going to give it extra hold and I'm also using it as a styling product before I curl my hair. To curl my hair I'm using Red by Kiss curling wand and I believe this is in the size, I believe this is in the half inch size. But I'm going to double check and I'll leave the details of that in the description box below. So this part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just um, taking medium sized strands. I'm holding it for about 30 seconds. I did speed it up for the video, but I'm holding it for about 30 seconds before I drop the curl. And I'm going to do that to the entire ponytail. So right now I'm just adding some more spritz to give some more hold to my curls to make sure that they don't fall out of place and that they last longer. With a rat tail comb, I'm just um, teasing my ponytail and teasing it just gives it more body and more height. 
so that um, the ponytail could just look a little bit fuller because I did use only one pack. Right now I'm going in with the MC7 Collection Wax Stick and this is another one of their products. I'm using this wax stick as a finishing product to slick down any flyaways that I might have on the sides and to give it an extra hold. And of course to finish it off I'm using the Olive Oil Sheen Spray to give it some sheen. So that is the final look guys. Who says short hair has to be boring? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave that in the comment box below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.